You want to know what the best Optifine settings are? Well, first you need to get Optifine, which you can check out in the description and down below. Here's a complete guide on how to install Optifine. It literally is the most in-depth guide on getting Optifine on the internet. You should go check it out if you don't have Optifine. But once you've got that, we can jump into the Minecraft launcher and get things going here. So first things first, you do want to start in the Minecraft launcher. You're going to have this Optifine installation, but we want to go up here to the top to the installations tab because we want to add more RAM to it. Now, if you don't see Optifine here, you want to make sure that modded is checked and then we can go ahead and click on the three dots and click edit. Then come down here and click the more options button. Finally, we have this JVM arguments. And what this is, is how much RAM Minecraft has. So XMX 2G means there's two gigabytes of RAM dedicated to Minecraft. As a general rule, you should never dedicate more than half of the RAM your computer has to Minecraft. So I have 64 gigs of RAM, which means in theory, I could give Minecraft 32 gigabytes of RAM and you can change it by changing the number after XMX here. But that's insane. Truthfully, for most people, four gigabytes of RAM is going to be more than enough. There are mod packs out there that will require six or eight or even 10 gigabytes of RAM, but we're going to change it to four. I would recommend, assuming you have at least eight gigabytes of RAM, to set yours to 4G right here as well. So now let's go ahead and click save, and now we can launch up Minecraft with Optifine. While this is launching, have another our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown of XYZ slash Apex, start your very own Minecraft server. You can add mods, you can add plugins, you can do anything you want with it, and they have 24 hours, seven day a week support. So go check out Apex again at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown of XYZ slash Apex to start your server. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and get Optifine set up. So to do this, obviously we're gonna go to options, but wait, let's talk about resource packs. Resource packs are a great way to change the look of Minecraft, but they're also a great way to add some lag in a lot of cases. So with that, I would recommend not installing resource packs unless you absolutely love them or if you go through these settings and you aren't lagging. Because if you're not lagging after you go through all these settings and set everything up, then you're probably a okay at that point to go ahead and add in some resource packs. And obviously, if they then start lagging or if Minecraft starts lagging with the resource pack, you know that's the case and you can remove it again. But I would recommend removing all resource packs for now. Then let's go into video settings. This is where all of our Optifine settings are and we can get things going. Now, I would recommend getting a base FPS reading of some sort where you just jump into Minecraft and, you know, get your FPS. How do you see your FPS in Minecraft? Well, you can just simply hit F3 and when you hit F3 on your keyboard or FN and 3, it will open up this and then the top left we have our FPS. So as you can see, I think one is the average and one is like the peak, for example, but we're just gonna go ahead and write this down. I would say it's averaging like, I'll go high 150 as well as uh, 30, 40 FPS. So 150, 40, and uh, that'll be good. So let's go ahead and make note of that. There we go, right like so. And now we'll come back to that later. Also, we can go ahead and zoom in here. That way you have the best look as well. So go into options, video settings, and now what we wanna do is configure all of this to be as lag-free as possible. Now, later on, you can up this up, right? You can change this. And I am gonna try to make it playable. For example, instead of turning render distance all the way down to two, I'm actually going to set it to 12 here. But render distance is one thing. I would recommend turning all the way down if you set it to 12 and are still lagging. Nevertheless, though, everything else is gonna be kind of well, how do I put this? It's going to look bad, but you can easily change it later. So for fa for graphics, we obviously want to change those to fast. Smooth lighting is going to be turned off. Simulation distance needs to be turned down all the way to five. Smooth lighting, turn that off. Frame rate, put that on max. GUI scale, technically one is going to be the best looking, but uh, well, we want you to be able to see and it's just not really going to have a huge, huge impact on performance. Entity shadows, you can turn those off. Brightness doesn't affect performance, neither does attack indicators. Dynamic lights need to be turned off. Dynamic FOV doesn't affect performance. It can sometimes make it feel like you're lagging though, so you might want to turn that off. Shaders, turn these off. Shaders are the biggest lag inducing thing in Minecraft. We do have in the description some high performance shaders linked that you can check out, but overall turn off shaders. And then if you're not lagging when this is all said and done, maybe you can add them back. Mip map levels, these need to be turned all the way off. Mip map type set to nearest, anthroscopic filtering off, anti-aliasing off, emissive textures off, random entities need to be turned off off better grass needs to be set to fast here if we can get back there fast better stone needs to be turned off custom fonts can be left on same with custom colors connected textures need to be turned to the fast setting here i'm sorry some of these are having to reload and it's, it's very difficult there natural textures need to be turned off custom sky needs to be turned off custom items can be left on custom guis can be left on custom entity models needs to be turned 
off and distortion effects can be turned off as well as FOV effects. From there, we can then move on to the detail setting where everything in here needs to be either turned off or set to fast. So clouds and trees have a fast option. Rain and snow also has a fast option. Um, it also has an off option, but I would Personally, I like rain and snow, so I'm gonna leave that on fast. Sky can be turned off, stars off, sun and moon can be turned off, but it doesn't really affect lag too much, so I leave these on. Show capes, turn that off. Fog, it needs to be turned off. Fog start doesn't matter because you turned off fog. View bobbing, doesn't really affect performance. We're gonna turn it off. Same for held item tooltips, that can be left on. Auto save indicator can also be left on. Swap colors, turned off. Vignette, turned to fast. Alternative blocks, turned off. Entity distance, all the way down. And biome blend, turned off off. So there you go. There are all of your settings there. Some of these can actually be left on and it's okay uh, because they don't really affect lag. So yeah. From there, we can go ahead and move on to our performance tab. This is where you can actually get a lot of benefit and a big boost out of Minecraft um, with Optifine. This is Optifine's biggest thing that allows it to boost Minecraft and how it performs. So for render regions, we want to turn these on. Fast renders want to be turned on. Smart animations turned on. Fast math turned on. Smooth FPS and smooth world. These are going to smooth out your FPS. I want to get over a thousand FPS here, right? Like I want to blow this out of the water. So I'm actually going to turn both of these off. You should probably turn them on, but note it's going to give you lower FPS, but it's going to make there be less jumps in FPS, right? So your FPS may fluctuate from like 500 to 600, from 400 to 600. If you turn this on, it'll smooth it out and it'll always be like 450 to 500, right? So you might want to turn those on in that case, but I want to see what the max we can get. So I'm going to leave them off. Chunk updates, set that to one. Dynamic updates, turn that on. Lazy chunk loading, turn that on. And chunk builder needs to be set to semi blocking. There we go. We can click that done and now go into animations. This is my favorite tab because it only requires one click all off done. You can come back through here and set specific ones if you want, but all off is going to give you the less or the most lag free result. And other, I always like to turn show FPS on. That means we don't have to F3 to see our FPS. Weather can be left on. Everything else in here is kind of default and can just be left as is, except show GL errors, turn that off. You don't want those to show. And then auto save, make sure this is turned to whatever you feel comfortable with losing. For example, can you lose six minutes of work in Minecraft? I can, that's why I set mine there. If you can lose 24 minutes, go ahead and set it there, but I'd recommend six. Let's go ahead and click done. And guess what? Optifine is now set up. Some of the interesting things and some of the things you can change is render distance might want to go to two. We're actually set it to two and then I'll upgrade it here in a second. As well as some of the lighting you might want to turn on, you know, smooth lighting. You might want to mess with these settings a little bit and that's okay. This is a baseline to get the basically most FPS. You don't need more than 60 FPS in Minecraft. So feel free to go in here and change stuff and get down to 60 FPS. As long as Minecraft looks good and, and you like playing it and the FPS is stable. As long as it's 60 FPS, you're good to go or higher, right? So as you can see here, we are doing it well over 1,000 peak FPS there in that first number. Let's get it kind of right here. But as you can see, it looks horrible, right? So we can go in here and we can make a few settings. It's going to lower our FPS, but it's going to do a lot. So I'm going to turn fancy graphics on. I'm going to turn my render distance actually up to 24. I have a pretty good PC, so I can do this. Smooth lighting level. I'm just going to turn this on to 50%. I'm not going to go all the way with it. And then I also like coming into the details setting turning swamp colors on, as well as, where is it, the stars and the sky, rain and snow fast, trees, turn those to fast, and clouds, turn those to fast, as well as turn clouds on. So by doing this, oh, and bio blend right there as well. So by doing this, Minecraft looks a lot better. We can see a lot farther, the trees look better, and look at this, we're still getting well over that 100, and then actually it's dipping relatively low. So I might wanna change, for example, the, uh, the graphics here to a fast graphics and that's going to boost our fps just a little more and as you can see start getting us over 60 right like so so there you have it you can change things around and that's how optifine is so great with the settings you can go from a thousand fps down to 30 and then stabilize around 90 you know 60 fps as you're moving around so truthfully the options are endless but uh this hopefully will give you a baseline for your optifine settings and uh yeah hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more incredible content and we'll see you in the next one peace